Hello, Disneyland. What a magical place filled with story. But have you thought about how did they make it feel this magical? Is it really by magic? No, everything is created by scratch. The last time I went to Disneyland, I observed carefully their mode of operation. And have concluded that the story behind Disneyland's success in influence people is to create a story, having numerous details to support that story, and having an overall layout that promotes pro-organization sentiments and behavior. This boils down to a simple modus operandi in which you can learn from when creating your own business. The center of Disneyland is about creating a story and basing a theme on that story. The stories do not have to be precisely linear, logical, and organized. For example, the rides do not tell you a story with a clear flow of events, like my presentations. For example, in Pirates of the Caribbean, you are not sure whether you are the pirate. You are a boat being attacked by the pirate, or simply a bystander. In it's a small world. It is also not a linear, logical tour around the world. Disneyland has somewhat of a golden retriever-like energy, which is being sweet, playful, caring, etc., like a golden retriever. But still, the main. Characteristics is being fancy instead of golden retriever like. There are numerous different themes to satisfy people's different needs. For example, adventure to exotic locations, American tradition, fairy tale, or a science fiction view of tomorrow. Sub themes are also not hyper logical and linear like those rides. For example. In Adventureland, an adventure-themed area, you are not very clear which part of the world are you in. You can see that Disneyland's idea is wonderful. What is even more important is to support that magical theme with numerous details. In Disneyland, every single small detail is engineered carefully to create an atmosphere that echoes with the whole theme. For example, there's a Mickey Mouse sign on security guard uniform. Information signs use language that support the theme, such as "By the order of the Evil Queen, this attraction is closed for now." Another major characteristics is using every single type of sensations to stimulate your senses to create an atmosphere, including sight, lighting. Background noise, music, narration, motion, touch, smell, temperature, etc. For example, Winnie the Pooh area has a beehive-shaped speaker that plays a bee noise. A Christmas-themed ride, when entering a Christmas dinner area, has a gingerbread smell. It's a small world. It's made to be quite cold in inside to. Slow down your metabolism to create a sense of calmness. For each ride, as you are entering the waiting area, it becomes loaded with details that create a theme. As you enter more deeply into that ride, the sensations become stronger and the details become more stimulating. Besides having a story. Details that supports the story. Disneyland also have a layout that promotes pro-organization behavior and attitude. One is isolation from outside. While there, you cannot easily see outside. When entering through, one passes by a large parking lot with red sidewalk shaped like a Hollywood carpet and pass through a big door, making you. A feeling of entering a special place. When you look out from Disneyland, you cannot even see tall buildings. There's a possibility that they deliberately chose the site that they know will not have tall buildings in the future, 
and or lobbied against the development of tall buildings. However, Disneyland lacks strict rules restricting people's basic freedom. For example, there is no rules like no outside food allowed, and you do not pass through a border control style access control, and Wi-Fi is offered in the park. Another characteristic is making desired activity frequently promoted, yet not aggressively promoted and practically easy. For example, there are shops everywhere, yet there are no aggressive salespeople to push you to buy, buy, buy. By having subtle reminders to remind people to purchase all the time and making purchase easy, people are more likely to purchase. Yet without aggressive pressure, people won't feel undesirable. For undesired activities, it's the other way around. There are no reminders for people to perform such activities and no features making such activities easy. For example, there are no outlets to charge your phone. This is because while charging your phone, you will sit there serving the internet instead of exploring and being immersed in their theme, or to spend money, or to not buy a battery pack. All these three points boil down to a quite simple op modus operandi. The modus operandi of all the rides are very similar and simple. When entering the ride, there are details to make the waiting and entering feel sensational. The so-called main course is a mode of transportation, and can be anything such as boat or rail. During the main course of the ride, it is completely close to the outside and loaded with details that strongly stimulate you. After you exit the ride, the streets and themed areas are still hyper-themed. The takeaway point from Disneyland's success is that you have the potential to make your business more successful by creating stories based on multiple themes. Use every single type of detail to support the themes and use layouts and organization to remind people to do desirable actions and making doing desirable actions easy. But even more importantly, remember, the world does not run on magic. It runs by having good ideas and use logistics to execute good ideas well. The moral of the story is that, in one's life and career, one should seek development instead of overall sensations. Thank you for listening.